use the word need when something is necessary or very important. What do you need? In this question, the subject is you. Do is the helping verb that makes the question. And then this is the main verb. What actually serves as an object? This is the thing that a person might need. I need, and then here you can put an object. I need some coffee. The object here is coffee. Or you could use an infinitive after need and say, I need to have or drink some coffee. So immediately after the verb, here is an infinitive. And then this would be the object of the infinitive. She needs furniture. Here is a noun. This is an object in the sentence, subject, verb, object. Or you can use an infinitive and then the object of the infinitive. She needs to get furniture. You need help. This is an object. Or you need to get some help. Notice that get is often used after need. I need to get and then the thing. We use the word need for things that are important or necessary, such as food, clothing, shelter. These are the three primary needs or safety, help, money, a job, education. These are all things that you need. Here's the verb need in the simple form, the past tense needed and the past participle needed. When asking the question, what do you need? You're using the simple form for the verb. You're using this. This is the helping verb. If we put this in the past tense, you just change do to did. What did you need? One thing that's a little confusing about the word need is when somebody asks you a question like this, they can put it in the present tense or the past tense. So even if the situation is happening right now, the question might be, what did you need? Or what do you need? Of course, they're different questions. This makes the present tense. This makes the past tense. At a store, you might hear the question asked either way. What do you need? What did you need? But the situation is the same. There's something that you need right now. It is possible that you'll hear someone ask the question like this. What are you needing? But need is the kind of verb that you shouldn't put into the continuous form. So I would not ask the question this way. However, it's possible you'll hear it. What are you needing? What is he needing? I recommend that you don't do that. I don't need anything or I need nothing. If the subject is he, he doesn't need anything, or he 
needs nothing. These sentences are in the past tense. They needed help. Subject, verb, and then here is an object. This is a thing. We needed some furniture. The word some is often used after need. Some furniture. I needed some coffee. This is true for me every morning. So this morning, I needed some coffee. She needed something from the store. This is the object in this case, this pronoun. And then here's a prepositional phrase. She needed something from the store. It's good to know that you can use need as a noun. In this sentence, I have needs. This is in the plural form. Here's the subject. This is the verb. And this is an object. She has needs. This sentence is also in the present tense, matching the subject. Notice the verb have is used with needs. You could also use the singular. They have a need. And you could add to this sentence, they have a need for, and then this is the thing that they might need. They have a need for shelter. They have a need for food or clothing or help. They have a need for help.